everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about what you really need to pack for BMT. Because when uh, packing for BMT was really confusing because I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna need this. I don't know what they're gonna give me. So I'm gonna tell you what you really need to uh, go to basic training. Basic training. So when you go to your recruiter's office, your recruiter is gonna give you a list of stuff that they're gonna give you at BMT. And it changes depending on when you go because like the summertime and the wintertime. So it kind of depends, but I went in the summertime. So what they give you, because I was really confused, like what are they gonna give me? When I went, and hopefully it's gonna be the same if you go, but they're gonna give you running shoes, because I brought running shoes because I thought they weren't gonna give me any, but they're gonna give you running shoes. They're gonna give you PT gear to sleep in, like at night. So you're gonna get PT gear. You're gonna get your ABUs, of course, or they might be giving you OCPs, because you know, they're swapping the uniform, so they're gonna give you OCPs, most likely. Um, they're gonna give you socks. They're gonna give you, uh, they're gonna give you a backpack. We had backpacks, they're gonna give you like a water bottle. The backpack is gonna include a Tupperware, um, the BMTSG, which is like a thick book. So when you take your EOC at the end of like BMT, you take this like this test. They're gonna give you pens. I think they give you pencils, highlighters. I think they give you highlighters. They give you like school supplies, basically a ruler, um, which you can use to roll your socks and fold your shirts if you want to. I know a lot of people did that. They're gonna give you body wash. I think they give you toothpaste. They give you like little essential things that you're gonna need. They give you like a loofah, stuff like that. But they're gonna give you a card, like a debit card, and it's gonna have $400 on there, and they're gonna allow you to go to the BX, which is like a little store, like a mini mall, whatever. So you can buy like full size bottle of like shampoo and uh, you know, stuff that you need. But they give you like this shampoo slash body wash mix. I wouldn't advise to use it, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So here's what I say to you. You know how um, if you wanna bring a carry-on, you only can bring like a certain amount of uh, ounces on the airplane. What I would advise is bring like, an Adidas bag, like a sports bag or whatever. Put all your full-size bottle stuff in there and then just have it go as a, um, what is it? Not a carry-on, I forgot what it's called. But you know what I mean, like when you go to the airport and you can like check in your bag, have it as a check-in bag. And you can wear makeup. If you do like wear makeup, you can bring it. Like you can bring for like pictures when you take pictures. Um, because your MTI, you know, they told us we couldn't buy makeup when we got our. Uh, when you, whenever you, they let you go to the mini mall, they say you can't buy makeup. If you want to risk it for the biscuit, by all means. But I didn't want to do that. <laughs> so, um, and plus when you get there, if you go in the summertime, you're going to get like a, a really deep tan, like a really dark tan. So your foundation is probably not gonna match you. So, oh, for undergarments, like bras and uh, underwear, it doesn't have to be all black and white. It can be whatever color, but it can't be like a thong or like a G-string or nothing like that. It has to be like regular underwear. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be granny, but it doesn't, it can't be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, you know what I mean? Um, bras. You can wear regular bras because when you wear your blues, they're gonna ask, well, they're gonna, they'd rather you have a regular bra with it. I know a lot of girls had to buy bras because they only had sports bras. So bring sports bras, bring regular bras. Um, you can bring a Bible if you are Christian, you can bring your Bible with you. I know I brought mine because uh, they have like different services. You can go to different chapel services. So you bring your Bible. Don't pack too much if you don't overpack because they give you a security drawer and it's not a lot of space. But you can really like you they have to have like you have to have stuff a certain way bring an address book so you can write down everybody's addresses so you can write down everybody's phone number but yeah other than that you should be fine so yeah thank you guys for checking out this video i appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one peace